FM versus FMN or FM narrow. What does it mean? What's the difference? Well, let's find this out. Let's go over to our magic green board and take a look. Okay, let's start by just drawing out an FM signal here. So we have basically in the center, we're going to have 453.500. This is just a frequency that I picked just at random here. And what this looks like when we plot out our 25 kilohertz spectrum is an FM signal. This takes up full 25 kilohertz, which means on the low end, we have 453.250. And on the upper end, we have 453.750. Okay. And again, the center of this frequency is 453.500. Now, when it comes to FM narrow, we are splitting this in half, which basically means we take this part of the FM signal and this part of the FM signal. And now we have two frequencies that we can use that used to occupy one. So now again, the center of this comes down here and is 453.4375. And the center here is 453.4625. These are FM narrow frequencies. And now today they are taking this narrow band and they are splitting it a half again as a 6.25 kilohertz spacing signal, which is now the new narrow band. If you like these two minute tech tips, be sure you subscribe to this channel because every week we'll drop another two minute tech tip. Thanks again.